black holes appear to be the giant monsters that devour anything that crosses their path. But did you know that even the mightiest black holes are not invincible? Something is slowly killing all the black holes in the universe. In 1974, physicist Stephen Hawking went on a journey to answer a rather complicated question. Do black holes have a temperature? This is a bit tricky question, because how can something that absorbs all the matter and energy that falls into it have a temperature? When you feel the warmth of a fireplace, you're actually feeling the infrared photons coming from the fire. Black holes, on the other hand, don't allow photons to escape. However, there are black holes that emit powerful jets of radiation and particles. We have already studied quite a few of them. But those black holes are supermassive. And at the time of emitting powerful jets, they are actively feeding on other stars and clouds of dust and gas. That's not the kind of temperature we're talking about. We're talking about the temperature of the black hole's event horizon, at a time when it's not absorbing any material at all. When Hawking tried to find the temperature of the event horizon, his research led him nowhere. Hawking shifted his focus from black holes to the space itself, with another question, what is empty space? That's when his understanding of the quantum field theory kicked in. According to the quantum field theory, pairs of particles and antiparticles are constantly being created and annihilated in empty space due to vacuum fluctuations. Meaning empty space isn't completely empty. It's filled with pairs of particles that doesn't interact with normal matter. It is more like your wallet even though you can't see anything in it, it is actually filled with air. Hawking calculated that near the event horizon of a black hole, one particle from such a pair could fall into the black hole, while the other one could escape into space. Every time a particle pair escapes, it carries the black hole's energy away from it in the form of radiation that we call Hawking radiation. Hawking concluded that not only do black holes have a temperature, they are not entirely black either. And most importantly, if a black hole is left alone without any new stars to swallow or matter to steal, on a long enough time scale, the quantum particles will drain its energy, the black hole will get smaller in size and eventually fade away.